Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In today's video, let's talk about the growth curve and carrying capacity of a population. All organisms have reproductive potential. It is the relative capacity of a species to reproduce itself under optimum conditions. Because of this potential, a species can become overpopulated, provided the factors required for its growth are fulfilled. The factors causing a population of an organism to be overproduced include sufficient food supply, sufficient living space, suitable mating partner, absence of predator, and absence of competition. However, there are some environmental factors which act against those factors I mentioned just now. They can control the population size. These factors can be biotic or abiotic. Biotic factors are made up of those living components in an ecosystem. They are predation, competition for food, or infection by pathogens. The abiotic factors, on the other hand, are caused by the non-living components of the environment, such as water supply or nutrient level in the soil. As all those factors constantly act on a population of organisms, its growth curve usually looks like this. The population size increases and decreases from time to time, depending on which site has a stronger effect at that moment. We can separate the graph into four phases. The population size increases slowly at first. This is called the lag phase. This is the phase when the organisms are newly introduced to an ecosystem. They need time to adjust to the environment. It is also due to their small number, so there is a very slow increase. If they can adapt well to the environment, a log, exponential, or reproduction phase can be observed. There is a steep increase or exponential increase. Hence, it is also considered the growth phase of the population. At this moment, the rate of reproduction is greater than the death rate. Most or all the factors required for population growth are fulfilled. If it continues, the organisms start to become overpopulated. A stationary phase can sometimes be seen as well. This is when the rate of reproduction is equal to the death rate. Some of the factors required for growth have started to become limiting factors. Then, the population enter the death or decline phase. There is a fall in the population size as the rate of reproduction is slower than the death rate. Some of these factors controlling the population size are acting on the organisms. Competition occurs among the members of the population. Food shortage, insufficient water supply, and limiting space are some common issues. Predators are likely to be attracted to the area due to a large number of prey. For aquatic organisms, the buildup of waste products may lead to their death as their number is too large for the area. Population size is usually cyclic. Further increases and falls are often observed. The graph fluctuates around a line called the carrying capacity. This is the maximum size of a population that can be sustainably lived in a given area. It indicates the size at which a population can no longer grow due to the lack of supporting resources. In conclusion, when the population size of an organism is above its carrying capacity, it will experience a decrease. When it falls below the carrying capacity, it will start to rise again. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.